Hi there. Now, on doing this question, first you have to look at the difference in charge between the three charge particles. This is of a positive charge, this is of a negative charge, this is of a positive charge. Thus, we can conclude that the force of attraction will be in this direction and this direction. In order to find the resultant force, you have to first find what's F1, F2, due to the attraction. Now, in order to find F1, that will be the interaction between this charged particle and this charged particle. So what we do is that, take F equals to K, Q1, Q2 over R square as F1, and that will be 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, 16 micro, minus 6 micro, divided by 1.2 square. Thus, I will get negative 0 0.6 newton. Now, is it a necessity to put this negative sign? I would prefer because it will represent that there's attractive force between P and the 16 micro column charged particle. Now next, in order to find F2, we will use back the same formula, which goes K, Q1, Q2 over R square, 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. Next, that will be 6 micro minus 4 micro divided by 1.8 square, which gives me negative 0. Point Sorry, 0 0.066 Newton. Now, once I know my F1 and F2, since they are of opposite directions, what I will do next is I will subtract this one. Now, to find the net force, I will take 0 0.6 minus 0 0.066 to give me 0 0.533 Newton. Now, that means that this particle of P is now attracted towards the left at a resultant force of 0 0.533 Newton. That's it. Thank you very much for your kind attention.